Welcome to this Pano 2 VR tutorial. Today we'll show you how to non-destructively edit your panoramas using the patches mode. With patches, you can easily repair a part of the image. The most common use of the patch mode is to remove or hide the tripod at the nadir. Once you've added your panorama, find the viewer modes and select patches. In this example, I'll just add a mirror ball to hide the tripod. In the viewer, double click to add a patch. Then simply drag it to the right location. When you get close to one of the poles, the patch will snap to it, making it easy to center the patch directly on the nadir or the zenith. Now you can edit it. The properties pane is initially open and it'll show the patch's settings. But if it's not open, just double click on the patch to open it. All I want to do here is add a mirror ball, so I'll just select it as a type and then I'll click Apply. Panel 2 VR will automatically update the patch to reveal the mirror ball. And you can update the mirror ball if you don't like how it's looking. Just click on the blue icon to activate the patch again. If it's locked, just deselect Lock Position. So I just want to resize my patch and I'll do that by dragging on these handles and the patch will automatically update. But to see it, you might just have to click in the viewer to deactivate the patch, and then you can check out the update. Next, I'll show you how to edit the nadir. So to prepare, I'll delete this patch by selecting it and hitting delete. I have a blank slate now, and I'm ready to add a new patch. This will be an image patch, which lets me extract a non-distorted portion of the image that I can edit in an image editor. I add the patch just like before by double clicking, and I'll adjust its size and its roll a little bit. And now it's ready to be extracted to my image editor. So once I click extract, Pano 2 VR will open the extracted patch in my image editor. All I have to do is quickly edit it. I'll save the patch without changing its name, replacing the original patch. When I go back to Pano 2 VR, I'll see the panorama automatically update and my tripod's gone. Sometimes you need to add a patch to your panoramas in bulk, and you can do this using a droplet. Open a new project, select the patches mode, and at the down face, add a patch. Make sure image is chosen as a type, and then click the folder icon to add the image. And for this example, I'm adding a transformation output to export the patched images in a folder. I'll use equal rectangular and set the size of the images. Now I need to make sure that Pano 2 VR doesn't overwrite the outputted files when using this droplet. Right click on the output file name and choose edit. Replace Pano with dollar sign N. Now the outputted files will take the name of their source. In the file menu, choose save as droplet. Click Create, give the droplet a name, and save it somewhere, like the desktop. Now drop the images or folder onto the droplet, and Pano 2 VR will work away adding the same patch to every image. And here are our batch processed images, all showing the same patch image. If you're using Pano 2 VR Pro, you can use the master node to add a patch to all the images in the tour. In this tour, I've got a lot of images, and I really don't want to have to manually add a patch to all of them. And this is where the master node comes in. In the tour menu, choose Edit Master Node. You'll then see the wireframe panorama indicating you're now in the master node. Select Patches. Add a patch to the down face, and this can be any patch you want. I'm just adding a simple logo. 
To get out of the master node, just click on any image in the Tor browser, and you can see right away that your patch has been applied to every image. And that's how to use the patches mode in Pano 2 VR. For more, visit our website and check out our documentation and other tutorials. And as always, thanks for watching.